Well, this patient, uh, age 65 years, male, is in dyspnea, and uh, in front of you, I have focused the kidney and the liver. From this image that is in front of you, and I'm showing you, you can easy, one can easily say and that the echogenicity of the uh, renal uh, parenchyma is raised diffusely and uh, though the kidney is normal in measurement <coughs> and uh, though there is no calculus, no hydronephrosis or any focally in scene but uh, keeping uh, in view as a beginner, if you are a beginner, uh, you can say that the uh, parenchymal echogenicity of the kidney is raised, keeping in view the fact that uh, the echogenicity of the renal parenchyma is much more as compared to the adjacent liver parenchyma. Because normally, what uh, we expect in normal is that the parenchymal echogenicity of the kidney should be either equal to or less as compared to that of the adjacent liver. But in this case, rightly, we are seeing the echogenicity diffusely raised, you know, compared to the adjacent liver. Now, this is an important thing to remember. Let's see transfer section. Again, yes, it shows. You can see that if you compare this part of the parenchyma with the adjacent liver, so the uh, echogenicity of the uh, parenchyma is uh, no doubt appears to be significantly raised compared to the adjacent liver parenchyma. So uh, this can be labeled easily by a beginner as uh, renal medical disease uh, or renal parenchymal disease. Now always remember that before giving this thing. Uh, Announcing it as a diseased kidney, you have to be you have to be sure that the liver is normal. Now, see, I am going to show you the liver now, and you see its echogenicity of the liver has gone down significantly. Inu bankaraji, inu bankaraji, acha. Now the echogenicity of the kidney, you see, has gone down significantly and you can see the prominence of the minor portal vein radicals and uh, the liver, if I show you in from other section, it will give a starry appearance of uh, toxic, toxic liver, not that of a congestive liver because the hepatic vein is not dilated. This is the, the patient is dyspneic becomes difficult at times. So this is the hepatic vein though, and here you will see the starry appearance of the liver. Okay, now, when the echogenicity of the kidney has gone down because of uh, some infective process, in that case, be very careful, you will see, uh, you will see uh, these things that uh, the uh, parenchyma, renal parenchymal echogenicity is raised. Here again you will see raised parenchymal echogenicity compared to the adjacent liver. The, why the echogenicity of the kidney is raised in this particular case or any other case you come across with that of uh, diffuse decreased parenchymal echogenicity of the liver. The fact of the matter is that the bacteria uh, or they produce toxins, exudate, and uh, because of that there is fluid, uh, somewhat fluid within the liver. And we know that wherever there is fluid, the speed of sound increases. Now, what is happening here is that as the waves travel, the liver parenchyma, they, when they come across the renal parenchyma, they return back with the same speed. And the, uh, as a result, the ec enhanced echo uh, that of the renal parenchyma is being seen. Whereas, in fact, this kidney is not diseased. This is a normal kidney. 
now see you can see clearly the capsule the parenchyma the cortex we can see the medulla and uh, pyramids corticomedullary differentiation is intact in this kidney and uh, there is nothing wrong with this kidney. Now, the another thing is that if you can't get it in this way, go to the prone position. Try to get the C and see the kidney in prone position. And in this, you will see that uh, the, uh, you can see that the seven primary cogenicity of the renal cortex is normal in this case. And uh, as we, this is the pyramid, these are the pyramids, central sinus hypocomplex. So this is a, a very uh, common mistake that can be made if uh, you don't know this particular tip or particular uh, area of pitfall that can easily be committed. So when we say that the uh, echogenicity of the kidney uh, should be either equal or less as compared to the adjacent renal parenchyma, we have to make sure first of all that the liver is normal. Then you can apply the rule of uh, increase or decrease parenchymal echogenicity of the kidney. Otherwise, scan it from a different angle. Better will be if you go through the prone position. Thank you very much.